What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Earlier in the summer, we reported that YG and DJ Mustard are teaming up for a new mixtape titled 400 Summers. And it hasn't showed up yet. And from the looks of it, it's not going to show up until well after summer is over with. It could be at this point that YG and DJ Mustard realize they had something special. And this could be turning into YG's third album. Who knows? But for now, Mustard's main focus is Cold Summer. It's his latest album, and it's coming out sometime this month. There's no release date. He just said it's coming out this month. He has a pop-up shop out in California this weekend where he'll be playing the album for anybody that comes through. So if you happen to attend, you'll be able to listen to the album. But he also put out the track listing, and that's what I wanted to discuss today. You have 14 songs, and you have the, the traditional combinations, YG and Ty Dolla Sign. Um, which are, of course, traditional, but they're still just really uh, amazing collaborations. I love YG and Ty Dolla Sign together. So you have that. You got a lot of appearances from RJ, who signed to DJ Mustard's label. Um, then you have his single, Don't Hurt Me, featuring Nicki Minaj and Jeremiah. Um, I feel like that one didn't really take off, but I commend Mustard for trying something different. Trying something that he hasn't done normally and just having Nicki Minaj too that that was a huge look so the record did what it needed to do and now Mustard is about to have some potentially big records on this project I think when it comes to a lot of albums the structure of it is important and for me a lot of times albums fall in the second half of it more than anything. So I think what Mustard is doing to combat that is putting together some really good records that go in the second half. For instance, you got Young Thug and YG on Party. That's sure to be a fan favorite just because you've never seen YG and Young Thug on the same record. And it's set, just judging by the title, Party, it's going to be one of those uh, banging records, one of those traditional Mustard bangers that you're just gonna love. I, I have high hopes for that record. Another record that stands out features Meek Mill, Nipsey Hussle, and Ty Dolla Sign. It's called What These Bitches Want. I'm gonna be disappointed if there's no DMX sample in there because that's pretty much the title of the song. So I'm looking forward to that record just because I know that Meek Mill and Nipsey Hussle, they, they sound good together. They both kind of represent, you know, the streets and Ty Dolla Sign, bringing it all together with a nice hook is, is going to be a good record, I think. And then the final record on the album is Rick Ross, John Legend, and James Fauntleroy. It's called Another Summer. We've seen Rick Ross and John Legend together multiple times, so we know it's a combination that works. And then you add James Fauntleroy, who sounds good on anything with anybody at talking about anything almost. I think James is one of those rare talents that doesn't get enough appreciation in the industry, but he's going to help that song. Um, overall though, I think it's going to be the best DJ Mustard project. I can't say that I really enjoyed uh, 10 Summers, his debut album. There was a few joints on there, um, but overall it was largely forgettable, but this album looks like it's going to be good you know including the names that I mentioned you also have Jeezy you also have Rich the Kid you got TC 4800 you got uh who else who else you got a Jeremiah solo joint so there's a lot on this album and I think Mustard has something with this one so once it comes out you can expect a review Cold Summer is dropping sometime in September Probably before the 21st or 22nd when summer actually ends or maybe after that. I don't really know. But I'll include a link so you can check out the track list. And let me know what songs you're looking forward to hearing most in the comment section below. And then like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.